Now, police are searching for suspects involved in the murder of three women on the KwaZulu-Natal South Coast. Their naked bodies were found in dense bushes on a farm near Mtwaulume. Uh, police spokesperson Jay Nika joins us now on the line from Durban for more. Jay, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, can you clear a little bit of confusion here? Are we talking about one incident or two incidents? Tony, uh, there are two incidents. They are located in two different locations that are next to each other in the Mtsuluma area, where we recovered a total of three bodies of uh, women that were missing in that area. There are also reports coming through about a farmer uh, finding four bodies in a, on his farm. Can you, uh, are you aware of that? No, no, definitely not. Uh, as I indicated, uh, there, there are two incidents and there's three bodies in total. Okay, are the, uh, the, the incidents themselves, are we looking at, uh, obviously the next question has to be, is there a serial uh, killer that is roaming in that particular area? Is that what we're looking at here? At this stage, it's too early to tell, as indicated, it's two different locations. Um, in the first incident which occurred, well, not occurred, well, uh, the, the, the two girls, uh, 16 and 25 years of age, both sisters from Namfo location in Sudin. They went lower last scene on the 28th of March this year. And the family then reported them missing when they didn't return home. On 25th of April, the two bodies were found by hunters on a farm in that area in the sugarcane field. They were in an advanced stage of uh, decomposition. Uh, the, the family identified the bodies by the clothing that was found uh, next to the bodies. Uh, DNA specimens were obtained from from both the deceased and forwarded for analysis, and that's awaited. Then on the 28th of June this year, a 23-year-old was reported missing by a aunt. Uh, she was uh, when missing from Nomakanzana location, also in uh, an Tuluma area. Then earlier this week on the 6th, that is Monday, a body was also found in the sugarcane field. Um, in that area by hunters who were hunting with dogs in sugarcane fields. Um, so in this case, the, 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 the body was not was partially decomposed. A post-mortem was conducted, and it was found that the cause of death was a stamp into the chest. So we are investigating a case of murder. But what we've done is we've handed both the doctors to one investigating officer to look into the possibility of the same person being involved, we will also be ro uh, roping in our investigative psychology section to look into the possibility that it could be uh, the same killer or killers. Are there any similarities in those crimes? The similarities are that they both, uh, all three are young women, uh, went missing over the weekend. Um, they were, as I say, close proximity, uh, close proximity to each other in that both the locations are close to each other and the bodies were dumped in the dense sugarcane fields. All right. Uh, thank you for updating us there, that uh, police spokesperson in KwaZulu-Natal, Jay Naika.